Building on Prior Knowledge and Understanding. Case study number three. As an instructor, you play a critical role in drawing out knowledge practices and conceptual understanding about research that students already possess as they enter your course. You're also helping them transfer their previous knowledge into new contexts, as well as build on what they've already learned. Acknowledging students' prior knowledge and understanding can help reinforce their identity as a researcher and increase their expectation that they can successfully complete assignments. Key factors that can impact students' prior knowledge and understanding of research and information literacy practices. Previous academic experience. For example, students entering your institution from other school systems that lack exposure to academic resources and experiences due to a lack of school funding, a lack of parental support, or difficult life circumstances have extra challenges as they try to catch up to those with more recent or robust experiences. Groups that might be disproportionately negatively affected include first-generation students, students from underprivileged school boards, for example, Northern Indigenous communities, rural communities, racialized communities, and mature students. Cultural context. For example, Students from other cultural contexts may have extra challenges as they try to make sense of how information is organized and valued within another culture. In some cases, they may be unlearning what they had previously learned in order to meet the assignment expectations. Groups that might be disproportionately negatively affected include international and indigenous students. Familiarity with disciplinary and academic language. In particular, students with language barriers are at a significant disadvantage as they must identify effective keywords in academic language and sift through hundreds of results using advanced vocabulary to identify relevant articles and analyze lengthy texts. Some of these tasks can be challenging, even for students with advanced English language proficiency. Case study, Monisha. While her program hasn't been research intensive, the course reading from her first semester has helped Monisha feel more comfortable with discourse from the field. She also had an opportunity last semester to conduct research in the Essentials of Communication course. Her topic for that project was about parental controls on social media. She quickly realizes that the research required by the Makeup for Media and Creative Arts program for her project is a little different from what she's used to. She's not sure what types of sources would be considered authoritative in this case or where she could find them. Reflection question. How could the instructor help Manisha transfer her previous knowledge about research strategies to this new context? Case study, Aiden. Since Aiden is in his first semester, he hasn't conducted academic research since high school. All he remembers is that he shouldn't use Wikipedia. While he spends a fair amount of time looking up information on Google and Copilot, Microsoft's AI tool, the assignment for the innovation shaping the modern world course explicitly states that these tools are not permitted. Instead, he must use only library resources. But after an initial search of the library, he feels lost and confused. Reflection question. How could the instructor help Aiden build on his existing knowledge about conducting research and how to apply it to this new context? Strategies for success. Use class discussions, discussion boards, or small groups to draw out student knowledge about information literacy practices before or during the research project. Provide opportunities for students to share with their peers their approach to the research project, solutions to the research problems they encounter, or favorite research tools and resources they've discovered. Develop formative activities or invite a librarian to lead a workshop so students can practice skills like identifying sources, using library databases, reading academic articles, and more. For more information, check out our section on Teaching Troublesome Tasks.